Colonel Dennison, what are the possible solutions for flood control on the Roanoke River now? Well, when you mention possible solutions, we're not prepared today to say what the, uh, what the solutions might be because this involves some rather detailed studies, as you can appreciate. I think uh, some of the things that we want to talk about, though, relate to uh, the flood, flood control problems that have been identified in the Roanoke and Salem area and what these solutions might be. They would center around such things as, uh, as possible flood control reservoirs or dams that would uh, contain the waters prior to the time that they got into the region. It might involve a system of, uh, of individual flood control projects, which would include uh, levees or flood walls if this were appropriate. It might include uh, other type uh, uh, flood control structures, uh, cleaning and clearing of, of channels to allow the flood waters that come through to get through without flooding out into the floodplain itself, or some uh, remedial structures in, in buildings or something of this sort. When will the next physical steps come about about on flood control? What happens next? Well, this is the purpose of our meeting today, to discuss with the uh, local government interests uh, what, what next proper step might be taken. And I think our primary recommendation today would be that uh, we initiate, at the request of the local interests, a, uh, a detailed study of the upper uh, Roanoke River Basin to, to determine what projects might be feasible to undertake. Uh, some of these would be long-range, others of them might be undertaken in the immediate future.